So we've got this witch hysteria, which is around every corner, behind every tree, ready to get me, okay? Well, how do you know someone's a witch, Mr. Johnson? I don't understand. How do you know if somebody's a witch, okay? Well, there are some ways to tell if somebody's a witch. They might be singing randomly, walking down the street singing. They might be reading something that is not what they're normally supposed to be reading. They're not conforming to Puritan law. They're not getting along with their neighbor. They're spending time alone. They're writing or journaling. And you know, the big, they're a woman, okay? What? You gotta be crazy, all right? I ain't a woman. Love them, love them to death, but I'm not a woman. One, two, three, four, five, six of these things, I've got those traits. You ever see Mr. Johnson walking down the hall singing? You will one day, trust me, okay? Reading all the time. Conforming to Puritan law, I already said that I couldn't do that nonsense, all right? Not getting along with your neighbor. Hey, I'm letting you know on a secret, all right? There have been at least four or five neighbors in my life that I absolutely hated, did not like, did not get along with, hated, all right? Uh, spending time alone, y'all, look at this mess. This here's my classroom. You see how empty it is? I spend about seven hours a day alone, all right? Uh, writing, yeah, I like to write, sorry. I just do it, all right? And again, I'm not a woman, but heck, man, any average teenager out there is gonna have at least four of these traits as part of who they are right now, all right? so.